Ms. Lumley, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us first uh, uh, your reaction to the vote and why, why you're on Parliament Hill today. Well, my reaction to the vote is um, I'm, not, I'm not shocked, but uh, I really wanted it to have a different outcome. I'm so disappointed with the NDP in Northern Ontario. I, uh, I really believe that Charlie Angus would, uh, would vote against the government. Uh, I'm a Sudbury girl, and uh, many of my, uh, my friends and family are actually hunters, but they do not, um, they do not support this bill. So uh, This affects you in a very personal way. Can you tell yes. us, just tell me why you're here today, what, what brought you to the Parliament Hill? Well, I became an activist a few years ago when my son Aidan Robert Lumley was shot and killed in the streets of Montreal. He was walking across the street and he was shot in the back. And he was a third year university student and he was an Ontario uh, speed swimmer. And uh, he was my only child. So I figured I could either give up or I could uh, try and make the streets safer for uh, other children, my nieces and my nephews and, and uh, all Canadian uh, children and so I um, I became involved with uh, with other mothers who lost their children and we kept saying well what can we do and um, the gun registry I uh, did a lot of research and it's it's unbelievable you know we register our dogs our cats our pigeons our boats and why the heck should we not register our guns here in Canada and uh, long guns and shotguns uh, you know they're they're uh, they're used in domestic violence and uh, and and it's just baffling to me that in this country, you know, it costs fifteen dollars to register your pussy cat, but yet it's uh, it's a uh, it's against the freedom of gun owners to register their guns. And I'm just so absolutely livid at this moment. You're, you're you're livid, and obviously, first of all, everybody and across all aisles, first of all feels for you this is a tragedy that all parents uh, fear and, and, and they're with you on this but but on the as you've transformed your pain into a political fight at this moment seeing 164 MPs vote to scrap this uh, you know you've heard their rationale how does that sit with you well to the MPs I say what don't you get Every time you turn the TV on, there's another murder. There's another uh, domestic violence where uh, killing where uh, a shotgun or a long gun is used. There's an accidental shooting where someone blows off their foot. What don't you get? So now we're going to scrap the gun, long gun registry. So sure, you're licensed, but you can have 20 guns in your house. And there's no way for the police now to track the guns. It's like going back to the library system where we fill out our names. There's, there's no computerized system to justify, uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to have guns, then I think you should be responsible. And it's not, uh, it's not your right to have a gun. It's not a sense of freedom to have a gun. It's a privilege. And, uh, and also, um, we do have a right in this country. We have a right to grow up. We have a right to live. We have a right to walk across the street. And uh, I, I, uh, I have tried to get in touch with MPs, and uh, they will not return my calls. They will, not, uh, they, they will not write letters back to me. And to Jack Layden, I am so disgusted with you, and I will never vote NDP ever again. And I will spread that word throughout Northern Ontario. It's unbelievable what you've done today and what you have let your MPs do. Unbelievable. I, I want to, you know, I, there's so much uh, emotion at stake here, and, and this is part of that. You know, these votes seem to some people, uh, you know, it takes place, but there's emotion that lies underneath that. I mean, here you are actually on Parliament Hill. Will you? talk personally to any of the MPs right now as they come out the doors are what what will you I, I mean are you going to, to confront anybody there I have tried to talk to them I have gone to Gerard Kennedy's office I have tried to speak the only person I actually spoke with was Michael Ignatieff and he knocked on our door an hour after Aiden's funeral he was campaigning and we asked him what are you going to do about getting the guns off the street and he said I don't know but I'll be back in uh, I'll be back tomorrow to tell you and he gave us his word that he would not vote with the government. And he also held my hand and shook my hand and gave me his word that he would tell his MPs not to vote with the government. So when he shakes his head today in the House of Commons, he looked up at me and I showed him my white ribbon. 
20-year anniversary is coming up for the women that were killed in Montreal. I don't know what to say. I know it's a dirty subject, and, uh, and I, just, I just don't know what to say. I'm just so, so shocked. Well, Elaine Lumley, I want to thank you, first of all, for taking the time to speak to me today. And, I'm, not, uh, I'm not usually this angry, Evan. I am actually have a, a pretty good sense of humor, so, uh, well, you know, there's nothing to laugh about tonight, I'll tell you. I know. Well, well you know, in the face of uh, uh, things like this, you know, sometimes yes. your, your emotions get uh, yes. pretty complicated. Well, it's very much theater, the absurd, isn't it? And uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the curtain to fall, you know, for these people to get it. I think until... An, until an MP's child is shot and killed, that they'll finally get it. And until that day comes, I, I think that the voices of mothers who have lost their children, I don't think they'll hear us. They probably, uh, they probably won't hear me. I don't know. I hope so. Well, uh, Elaine, I want thanks so much for, for, for speaking to us in, thanks, in a Evan. very, very poignant moment and There's in a, a powerful picture moment. Of my son. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we, we can see it. That's your, that's your son, Aiden. Yeah. All right. Uh, Good looking uh, boy. Uh, thank you so much. Thank, uh, you. thank you. I really appreciate you speaking to us today. Goodbye. All right. That's Elaine Lumley. And you see the, 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 the passions and how personal this vote that we just witnessed in the House of Commons, uh, how all across the country uh, passions are aroused by this debate. And you see it's very personal. We'll be back with more Power Politics. Uh,